Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another decor video. So I have been kind of slowly working my way through my house um, since I moved into it uh, this past spring and I've been kind of taking one room at a time. So today I'm going to be doing a boho inspired bedroom for you guys. I have done one before and I'm excited to do another one and tackle it. Also, this is very budget friendly. I try to give you some great budget tips and tricks when it comes to decorating. Before we jump in to the decorating of the room, the before, the after, everything in between, I wanted to thank LifeWit for sponsoring today's video. LifeWit sent me their soft support sink in bed pillows and personally I am super super picky when it comes to what type of pillows I sleep on I have a lot of neck and shoulder support that I need especially with working at a computer and doing things like cooking and things like that in the kitchen where I am using my arms a lot and using my neck and all of those things so having the right pillow is super important to me so having something that is Flat is definitely not supportive for my neck and these are so fluffy they sent me their queen size and they are just the perfect pillow in my opinion unlike standard bed pillows used for sleeping they use ultra thin 1.5 D micro silicon polyester fiber to ensure fluffy softness close to the experience of a hotel pillow which honestly you guys I personally think that hotel pillows always seem better than the ones I have at home <laughs> they do come in king and queen size and because they use silicon infused polyester fiber it allows more airflow and allows them to be a lot fluffier they have tested these out with multiple head sizes and shapes and weights just to get the right amount of fill in the pillow because they have achieved the right amount of fill inside of the pillow it provides a perfectly balanced resting head level that gives you comfort and support since the pillows come vacuum packed you do want to take them out and kind of fluff them up and beat them around a little bit getting some air inside of there and these are hypoallergenic if you're looking for pillows that will hold their shape on your bed also for decorative purposes these are excellent they don't fall flat and they stand up nice and fluffy looking and since you guys know that keeping things clean and fresh is very important to me they have rigorously tested these in the washer and the dryer and they always come out fluffy and fresh and full every time you wash them they do have an okeo tech certified guarantee and they have been tested for over a hundred harmful chemicals so you don't have to worry about them being harsh on you so you can rest assured that they are great for long-term use personally I think this is a great affordable option for a good quality pillow that's gonna give you support and really just give you a good night's sleep another quick little tip I wanted to give you about these is you do want to give them 24 hours to kind of fluff up and get to their full size shape if you guys use the code Adeline 10 and check out the links in the description box you can get 10% off of their already low prices I know that you will love these pillows as much as I have been and let's go ahead and get started on doing our bedroom makeover so here is some before shots I love this room it is one of the larger bedrooms in this house and it has these great hardwood floors so the first thing I did was install some curtain rods and these are super super inexpensive from Walmart I will link them below they're just simply white with like a white bulb on the end and they're really easy to install as well and they do have different lengths of them so I got a longer one for the double window and then a shorter one for the single window Next, I put on these super inexpensive double paneled packages from Walmart and they kind of had a little bit of a texture to them and I felt like they would really warm up this space and just kind of give it a crisp look. High, even if the sky is falling down.
I grabbed my handy little handheld steamer from Amazon. I have had this thing forever and it's a super great steamer. I almost never iron my clothes anymore. Um, I mainly use a steamer if I need to and it worked really well to steam the creases out of these curtains. And I was pretty impressed. It did not affect the crinkle texture on the curtains. Honestly, Walmart really came through for this project because this bed frame is from Walmart as well. It was really inexpensive and it kind of stuck with my white fresh clean look that I wanted to stay with. And don't forget that you can always get free shipping from Walmart as well. Okay, so now that we have most of the basics in here, I kind of have little zones that I'm gonna work on each kind of at a time in the room. And the first thing I'm going to do is the focal wall slash headboard, since I'm not doing a headboard, but I am doing kind of an accent wall here. And I'm gonna get everything out for that. And then I will probably put the bed part together. And then I have something for this wall. So we'll kind of work on things each at a time. But I think this is a great blank slate to get started on decorating. Okay, so for my little wall that I was going to do behind the bed, I went with the ever popular vine wall that's going around right now. It's so inexpensive and easy to put together. So you just get these packs of the vine pieces from Amazon. And then I also used my favorite curtain lights from Amazon. They're the ones that are behind my bed as well. They have a little remote that goes with them to turn them on. And it's just a nice way to be able to create light at nighttime and with this area that the bed is sitting in I didn't really have space for nightstands so I thought this was a great way to create light without having lamps on either side of the bed. Doing a vine wall like this is such an easy little DIY. You could do it behind a couch. I just feel like it kind of livens up any space. Next, since this room is actually for my daughter and she loves to read and kind of have little nooks that she can sit in, I put together a little reading nook for her. This hoop canopy is from Amazon as well and it's really easy to put together. If you're looking for one that's not sheer, a lot of them are sheer or kind of like a netting material, this is a great option. This is more of like a linen and I think it also comes in pink. It has these little pom-poms around the edges and I just think the quality is great for the price. I 
again, I will do my best to link everything below. Most of the stuff is from Amazon. Like if you guys recognize, this is the same rug that I put into my office. I just love the texture of it. And the next thing that I did was put together a little table and chair set. My parents actually got this for my daughter on her birthday in June and I just hadn't put her room together, but it is from Amazon. And it's a little smaller than I expected it to be, but I know she won't care and she'll still make a good use of it. The next thing I did was put this little three-tiered cart from Amazon next to her reading nook. If you guys remember, I had used that in the tiny house and it's still going strong. It's really sturdy and it works out well since it has a little piece on the top of it that you can set things on. Then I got out to these tassel string lights. This was kind of my inspiration for the color scheme to add some color into this room. It has like some oranges, blues, and purples. and and she had really wanted an area she could hang up photos so this worked out great and it added a little pop of color. I put this great Amazon bin next to the bed just for her extra blankets. This is a great idea for a room no matter what age you are, but that is to take some clipboards and hang them up. You can put sayings and quotes or Bible verses or photos, really anything you want to put on them. And I feel like right now with back to school, there are so many different prints and colors out there. Okay, you can't see anything, right? All right, you can open them. It's <laughs> pretty. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. <laughs> yeah, this is your little reading nook, and you can put books and stuff in the cart. <laughs> and and yes, your chalkboard, and then. Oh, it's out here. I didn't put it back in there. And then a little table for you. A little table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then over here, and I have the little remote for you to turn the lights on. And that's where you can put your pictures. Remember, you asked mommy 
for a spot to put your pictures. And then what do you think you can put over here? Like pictures of me and daddy and stuff. You and daddy and artwork? Mm -hmm. Yes! What do you think? Good! You like it? Alright, so I am so happy with how all of this turned out. It's very simple, very budget friendly, but still has a nice, clean, fresh look. I got this put over here. Her two requests were, were to have a place to put pictures of her and her sisters and our family. And then um, her other request was to have a lot of white and a place that can feel clean for her. So these are from Big Lots, these clipboards. They had them in their back to school section. And then the bedding is from Ikea and the small little shelving over there is from the dollar spot at Target. I love to snag stuff like that and then just hang on to it for whenever I need it. And a lot of this other stuff also came from Big Lots, like these signs over here as well. So if you have a Big Lots near you, I definitely recommend checking out their decor. And this little plant is also from there. The easel is from Ikea and um, yeah, this was so simple to put together. I'm so happy with it. I love her little reading nook and I left this empty because she will have her own things that she wants to organize in it. She's my little organizer and she likes to kind of have her own stuff put where she wants it to be, which is fine. And I'm so excited because I have a whole entire plan to make a really cute aesthetic closet even though this is a small closet it does go in on either side so that will be an upcoming video and this poof is one from amazon that i just fill with blankets that we don't use on a regular basis it's a great filler for poofs so definitely check out amazon for poofs that aren't filled because they're a lot cheaper that way but either way i'm so happy with this and if you guys liked this don't forget to give it a like don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and leave a comment below that always helps me out and i will see you guys in my next video